everybody. Happy Halloween and thank you Donna for inviting me to be in this spooky collaboration. Excited to be working with all these amazing artists. I know that you just saw Lori with Art by Sparkle. I know she's done something amazing. We have three fun days filled with a lot of spooky, spooky artwork, and we will be glad to see everyone here. Like and comment, and I am ready to get down to the canvas. Hi, we are going to start. We're gonna jump in. We're using a lot of Halloween colors, the fall colors. I think this is Ari <laughs> Lied Yellow, I can say it, um, by Triar. I love this color. I'm going to do a flower pop. I decided that um, I had a lot of leftover paints. Um, this one here is actually TLP Mango mixed with a little bit of Pebio. It's some leftover paints that I had. We've got some reds and orange. I think I have one red I'm using, which is Master's uh, Touch Scarlet, but these are leftover paints. There it is. That's the Master's Touch Scarlet. Sometimes I label them. Sometimes I do not. And I just wanted to use up the paints on my shelf. I have so many that are leftover. These, I do a lot of sunset paintings. I don't even video them. I play around. And then once I'm done, I'll add my Floetrol, a little bit more water, and um, you know, just play with some of the flower pops. So I thought, you know what, let's do a Halloween theme color flower pop. So I'm going to get right to it. Okay, so while we finish laying down all of the paints, this is the basic color palette, I am just going to share my fondest memories of doing pumpkins and Halloween and was growing up and doing um, several we had a really big front porch and we would do several pumpkins so my mom would do one I would do one and sometimes two my brother my sister and so we were able to line them up and back then you use candles you know we didn't have the little flickering lights when I was growing up so one of us would always have candle duty going out checking the candles there'd always be a burnt spot in the bottom of the pumpkin gosh it's just time flies but my favorite thing and the reason that i always was pushing everyone to do a big pumpkin and do more than one was because those pumpkin seeds we love pumpkin seeds and we would get them all out after we were done we'd get all the pumpkin yummy juicy guts out of the pumpkin and take all the seeds and spread them on these huge cookie sheets because my mom made a lot of cookies and we would dry them out and once they were dry we'd have two different cookie sheets and we would do one where we spritzed with apple juice and then one that we spritz with a tad bit of vinegar. And so we have these two sheets. On the apple juice sheet, we would sprinkle cinnamon and sugar um, at the last few minutes of baking. So we'd start baking them after they're completely dry. We would put them in the oven. Once it was about five minutes before they're done roasting, we would spritz them with that apple juice and then we would put our cinnamon sugar put them back in the oven because the sugar would burn now on the other side we did like a salt and vinegar so we would actually spritz them with vinegar before we roasted that pan we'd spritz the vinegar put the salt on and put those in the oven and um, then we'd have them in a bowl and we would take them in our lunch we'd have little baggies of snacks and it was amazing You don't want any creases in your towel. There you go. And it's easy to work them out. All right, you ready? Here we go. I'm going to hold it low and I'm going to pull fast. Low and fast. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, let's just add a little bit of orange and black at the bottom. We're creating the background for the flower pop, which we are going to start shortly. I will see you there. So 
So I'm going to start up in this corner. There we go. And we are going to use my straw this time. And another great trick is with the um, salt and vinegar, you add a handful of candy corn. Shake that up in a baggie and you got a sweet treat. So that's my favorite part of Halloween and I will be glad to share my recipe at the end. I'll put it up on the screen and I hope you and your family enjoy it as much as I have. It's been amazing. Okay, so I am doing my flower pop now. I'm using my Puffy 2000. I am loving these colors. You will find that when you do these bright colors on YouTube, they, they do very well. But in the real world, I am really into um, art shows and sales. And um, so it's really important that I cater to my audience. What do people like? And it will take... A while for this particular painting this color palette to sell but when it does it's so rewarding because it's somebody that is looking for this specific color not you know shades of blue or this really has to be uh, catch the eye of someone that's really looking for these bright colors so I decided to I was originally going to stencil a black cat on the side of this um, for Halloween. And then I decided I'd add it to my hot series and we are getting ready to do a botanical. Everybody, thank you for joining me, I'm back. And you see I've got this beautiful flower pop that I just did and I purposely left it to be very minimalistic because I have been working on um, utilizing the botanical leaves that Rinska Downa uses. I am always nervous when I do this. I'm doing it on, you know, this is obviously a dry canvas and, you know, I want to come up when I talk to my husband. He said, don't go wild because I just love doing that motion. <laughs> so I think I'm just going to do a little leaf here and come up and do one here. So here, maybe in this part, and here. And that's all. He, you know, I wanted to go all crazy, and he said, don't do it. You know, and so this is just practicing. I love to find different things with my flower pops, what I can do. Um, I have a video coming out where I was using a catalyst wedge for the stems, and that worked pretty good. So I'm using Carbon Black by Golden. And we're going to... Um, Give it a shot here. Yikes. All right, here we go. Beautiful. Now I can go over that again. So no panic. Make sure it's straight. We're going to start here. Oh, I love it. Now, I don't know if I like that. And I probably need a little bit more paint on my brush because it's dry. So we're gonna do it again. Okay, do it again over here. I love it. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna mess with it. And sometimes less is more. Um, I don't know if I should put, let's do one little more. There we go. I don't know if I should add some orange. What do you think? And I can go through with a brush. I do have the water brush. Um, I use it on my oyster shells. So I could use that um, to get this off with, my, with this brush. Okay. There we go, that's working. Just kind of, I like that. And I like this one. I don't really want, I don't want to do too much more to it. I do think that um, you need to brighten this up. That's the beauty of um, 
when you use this, you can, you need, I'm just trying to brighten this up like the leaf. And I can, you know, if I wanted this line more distinct, I can make it more distinct. You know, you can add, you can do whatever you want to do and how you want to make it is up to you. That's what I love about this. It's, there's no wrong. I noticed that the lamp black from Golden is a little bit more glossy. That's why I'm adding this black. Here we go, the final results. I am in love with this. This is another one in my hot series, Flamin' Hot. I'm just so in love. We decided to put a gloss varnish on this one, and it just added so much to it. I love how the orange is popping through from the back. Um, that mango T.O.P. is really showing its beautiful true colors here. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I have had so much fun doing it. Thank you again, Donna. And here are three paintings from my hot series. Stay tuned to the end to see the recipes for the pumpkin seeds and then we're going to head over to Tazzy's channel, the beautiful Tazlima Mail Art. I know she has something great for us. Here are the recipes. Enjoy. Take care. Till next time.